While a great deal is known about modern codets, including the lower forms, their origin remains obscure. In the absence of specific evidence, the origin of chordates is still debatable. Over the years, several hypotheses have been proposed to explain their origin, but none could explain it fully. Today, we are discuss about several theories which leads to the origin and evolution of chordates. Without any further delay, let's start. The earliest known truly vertebrate animals were freshwater forms abundant during the late Silurian and Middle Devonian period. Their fossils are collectively known as ostracodons. Their body was covered by a bony armor forming a shield on head. They were adapted for filter feeding. The oldest fossils belonging to ostracodons occurs in the late Cambrian and Middle Ordovician period. In 1900 American geologist Camberlin gave the idea of freshwater, origin of chordates. It was supported by Romer and Smith. However, marine origin of chordates was also considered as the protochordates and deutrostomes in vertebrate phyla are exclusively marine forms. The simplest chordates living today are invertebrate chordates or protochordates, belonging to the subphyla. Hemichordata, Eurochordata, and Cephalochordata. They possess the notochord, dorsal nerve cord, pharyngeal gills, slit, are associated with vertebrate body plan. Several theories have been proposed to explain the origin of chordate. Here are the some theories Echinoderm ancestry. On the basis of anatomical, embryological, paleontological, biochemical, and serological evidence, Various researchers have tried to establish that chordates probably originated from echinoderm larva. The hemichordate larva is similar to the bipinaria larva of echinoderm, but this view is not accepted these days. Hemichordate ancestry Hemichordates are sedentary and have pharyngeal gill slits and a hollow dorsal nerve cord, but the presence of true notochord is doubtful, and their adult body plane is different from vertebrates. Hence, they have been put under in separate phylum. Thus, this theory was rejected. Cephalochordate ancestry The excretory system of cephalochordates, consisting of flame cells called solenocytes, is altogether different from that vertebrate kidneys. For the lack of well marked cephalization and sense organ and the unique forward extension of notochord, indicate that the cephalochordates have the identical ancestral body plan of vertebrates but are not themselves ancestral. It may represent divergent path of evolution from a common ancestor. Barrington's Hypothesis It is most plausible hypothesis proposed by Barrington in 1965. This hypothesis is based on the deuterostom line of chordates evolution. The common echinoderm chordates ancestor was in all probability a small sessile or semi-sessile arm feeding creature. This gave rise to early stock echinoderm. The next step was the derivation of sessile filter feeding of stem chordates. Pharyngotremy, that is perforated pharynx, resulted in the evolution of free-living hemichordates and sessile urochordates. Some ancestral tentacles, instead of producing ciliated larva common to the earliest group, formed tadpole larva with all the typical somatic feature of chordates. Later on, this larva increased in size and by pedogenesis suppressed the sessile adult stage, developed gonads and become the ancestor of cephalochordates and vertebrates.